What is up Spine Ticks? Sith Lordly here back with another sports cards video. You know how I love my PSA 10s and today we're going to be looking at Shaq and what it takes to get tied for number one in the PSA set registry for his rookie set. So we're going to be looking at seven cards in particular. There's way more than these seven uh, as far as his rookie cards, but these seven in particular will get you tied with a bunch of other people for number one in the registry. Um, I have just about all of these raw. Uh, you know, because I buy sets and then the cards are there. But these in particular, I bought, you know, fairly recently on eBay and uh, with the purpose of ranking up to number one. So we're going to kick it off here with the 1992 Fleer, just an awesome card. Uh, great blue here off of the gold. And let's take a look at the back. And, you know, like if you were in the hobby in 1992, like I was, first of all, man, I wish I had still had that beam team. Um, and all of his LSU cards, and then all of these cards. It was an exciting time. If I get you a Shaq card, Steve, what are you gonna I'll do? I'll run down the street naked. No. And, you know, I'm from LA, Lakers fan, but, you know, back then, there was so much hype about Shaq that I was wearing an Orlando Magic hat around town as a Lakers fan. And, uh, so we've got that card here. Let's take a look at number two. We've got the 1992 Hoops. Uh, so a nice simple design, but a great image of Shaq just being dominant here. And here is the back. So you can just pause at any time and read the back. But, you know, perhaps you've got these cards as well. They're all very affordable uh, as rock cards on eBay. Next up, one of my favorites, just because it's so beautiful. Look at the red just pop in here. The 1992 Skybox. Uh, so that's just a sick card right there. And then there he is, Shaq rapping. Uh, I have his CD and I love it. He, he had some skills. If you watch that documentary, it you know shows how Phil Jackson got him to focus on basketball and not rapping anymore. Um, another classic here, the 1992 Stadium Club. Uh, so that's just uh, you know when Stadium Club came around, you know it just felt elite. And I remember like those first few years of Stadium Club, I really felt like I was collecting something uh, just beautiful here. And then I like the back here because, you know, then it'll show like the tops card on the back. Which is the next card right here. So we've got the, uh, the 1992 tops. And there's the back. Uh, next up, we've got the Ultra. So yeah, I really like this design. In fact, um, I like how this design carries over into other sports. So I've got quite a lot of the 92 Ultra hockey cards as well. Um, it's just very nostalgic to me when I see this design and I see like modern cards kind of do a throwback to this design. It's really sick. So there's the 92 Ultra. And the last card, dun dun dun, is not a PSA. Um, this is the one card that I'm missing. I dug this out of my card box here. Um, this is the upper deck number one. So I currently rank number 97 because I have six of the required PSA 10s and then I do not have this one. This is a $3,000 card on eBay on average as a PSA 10. Uh, mine is probably not a 10, so um, I plan to buy it, uh, just waiting for a nice commission check to get number one tied with everybody else. Uh, so I'm sure some of you guys have this card. You'll remember there's a 1B, which is the trade card, uh, but this is the card number one. So yeah, again, we're just looking at Shaq here, one of my favorite players of all time. If you watch the Spine Ticks uh, live stream, you know I always play clips of Shaq and Charles. Uh, everybody on my panel, we all love Shaq. And uh, you know, just what a talent. Just so glad that he's still with us uh, in entertainment. We can still enjoy his personality after all these years. And I hope you enjoyed this video, what it takes to rank tied for number one with everybody else in the PSA set registry for Shaq. And maybe I'll make another video just showing my Shaq collection in general. So with that said, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Sith Lordly out. If I get you a Shaq card, Steve, what are you going to do? I'll run down the street naked. No.